<laughs> hey. Hey, Gemini. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the month of May for all of our Geminis. Okay, so Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Gemini, then this reading is for you. All right. Let us go ahead and see what the messages are. Okay, as soon as we flip the deck, I see the Five of Wands, uh, the High Priestess, the Ace of Cups. So I feel like there might be, you get what I'm saying, some blocks in communication right now when it comes to like a lovebird type of situation. Okay, um, but here's the Magician, your energy. So I feel like you can manifest whatever outcome you want. You get what I'm saying? So... If you want the happily ever after, you can have the happily ever after, period. Okay, so let us see. What are the messages? We have a queen of wands here. Okay, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, involved some way, six of cups. Okay, this person could be a sibling. Okay, this could be your daughter. This can be um, someone who's younger than you or someone who, you, who you've known um, since your past lifetime or past lifetime occurrence. Okay, let us see. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, okay? Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, okay? So this could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn person, okay? Seven of Cups could be dreams, okay? Fantasies, options, or confusion, okay? You could be confused. We have the Death card here, okay? Death card could be transformation, change, rebirth, all right? So once again, going through a lot of changes, a lot of shifts, all right? But Spirit is saying, um, whatever's happening with that chaos or that conflict with communication, keep in mind it's Mercury retrograde. Once again, you are Mercury ruled. You are the magician. Therefore, you can manipulate energies. Like, that's Mercury energy, right? You can manipulate energy to be whatever you want it to be. So do that, okay? Um, that's what I'm getting here, okay? We have the star card. Yes, okay, do that and you will see divine favor. We got the high priestess. I feel like you already know this, though. You know what I'm saying? You already know this. All right. I'm getting that someone knows that you know this. You get what I'm saying as well. Let us see. We have the high priestess. Yeah, so once again, you already know this. We see the world card sticking his head out. I believe that's the world. Yes, it is. The world. The seven of swords. Hold up. Hold up. Because I think that's justice. It is. Okay. It is. So there's a message there. But it's like you want this. And someone is trying to stop you from having it, a karmic person to you, all right? I also feel like there could be someone trying to communicate something with you to your dreams. That could be creating a problem for you. You get what I'm saying? Okay. But I feel like something is coming to an end. You're ending something. Something is going to be balanced here, okay? No worries. We have the magician, like I said, manipulating the energy to go in your favor, to work in your advantage, Three of Cups celebratory energy. All right. So you celebrate him. Yeah, you might have gone through a lot. Nine of Wands. You get what I'm saying? But you're still going to be able to manipulate it. Make it work to your advantage. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords here. And the Three of Swords. Okay. So it's like someone's going to feel stuck. Be heartbroken. Be sad. You get what I'm saying? Feel like this. All in divine timing. You get what I'm saying? I feel like what goes around comes around. That's what I just heard. And I feel like people just fail to understand that. They fail to get that. Okay? What goes around comes around all the time. You get what I'm saying? So people wanted you to be, I guess, done for. But instead, you come back ready for more. You get what I'm saying? Ready for the next round. Ready for the next fight. You get what I'm saying? You never give up. Think that's the problem? You never give up? <laughs> we have a Queen of Wands, the Six of Cups here. The Eight of Cups, somebody that you emotionally withdrew from multiple lifetimes. You walked away from them in the last lifetime. You walked away from them this lifetime. So they pissed. Their spirit has, like, it out for you. You understand? <laughs> they have it out for you. We have the Hangman here. Okay, yeah, so something new has been brought to your awareness. Or you've been enlightened to some truth here, once again, about a Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, double emphasis on that, no mistaking it, okay? We got the star card here, what is this? We got the three of wands and the high priestess. Once again, double emphasis on that. In the very near future, you know that things are going to shift for you. We have a queen of pentacles again. So this could be like your money, okay? 
If in any way you felt like something was off with that, your abundance, your sense of security overall, then yeah, I feel like that's going to be, you get what I'm saying? Shifting. We have the high priestess here. What is this high priestess energy? Sheesh. We got the knight of cups. The Nine of Cups, loving it. The Devil. The Moon. All right. So what I'm getting here is something comes in a, a relationship that seems like it's wish fulfillment for you. You get what I'm saying? It will be. But I feel like the Devil is playing tricks with your emotions, your mind. Okay? We're playing tricks on your mind that are now turning into tricks being played with your emotions. Okay? Yeah, Nine of Swords. Because it's something here that is supposed to be happy but you don't feel happy in this moment. You sometimes feel eight of swords, three of swords, but that's because of the energy somebody is sending out towards you that they want you to feel because you released them. You walked away from them. Okay, so now that you have your wish fulfillment, this is bothering that person. You understand what I'm saying? But let us see with the world card, the seven of swords, and the justice. Like I said, everything that goes around comes around six of wands. Victory and success for you. You get what I'm saying? Public recognition for you, the star card. So it's like it's going to happen. You get what I'm saying? I mean, you're divinely protected here. Yeah. As soon as I said that, look, we got the four swords. You're divinely protected. They cover you. They got your heart. Okay. They got you. They got your heart. That's what I just heard. Okay. They got you. They got your heart. So you don't have to worry. Okay. I honestly feel this energy with the five of cups. This person from your past just sends you negative energy. Look. Look at this. Look at this card. It's like they just send you all their negative energy because you walked away from them. You chose to have peace instead of dealing with them or something like that. So we have the seven of wands. Yeah. So it's like, <clears throat> this is how you defend yourself. Do a protective bubble around yourself. You get what I'm saying? Obviously, at all times. We have the ace of wands. Yeah. So it's like, you took matters into your own hands. You're stronger than this person thought. You're more intuitive than this person thought. This person thought they could blindfold you, that they could trick you. They could this, they could that. But look at what's here. You get what I'm saying? You're extremely intuitive, right? So that's what I'm seeing here for you guys, all right? <clears throat> mm -mm. Let's see. For our Gemini's. We have moving all right so it says change of residence moving in with your partner all right once again fire sign energy here so it started off with that and here they go again we have honeymoon okay it says honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding so i guess you guys are in the honeymoon phase with this person um moving in doing you know really nice things like that and we have love spell okay you've been bewitched so you are in love or they're in love okay so this is your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and hair